So n now that we have learned, I mean, what is uh, AI, what is, you know, deep learning, neural network, a little bit more in this case, what we can do, I mean, with different kind of machine learning, we'll dig up a little bit more in the uh, artificial neural network, I mean, the deep learning part, and uh, explain uh, the position of the QBI, what ST is proposing in this case, and what you will have to learn, I would say, either by yourself or using partners in this case. I think it's important to have it in, in mind. So these are the five defined steps in this case. Uh, and uh, the first one is a, a capture of the data. Of course, <laughs> before, and it was quite interesting from the presentation, you have to think about what you want to do. It's not, you know, uh, for fun in this case. So, and this is, uh, I think, the mo most important part to understand uh, the target. And then you will have to verify if you reach what you are uh, reaching and otherwise you will have to change. So this is part. But then once you have the idea, uh, you have to capture the data and capturing the data is okay could be okay you just have to, to you know to, to record something and that's all no you have to take care about how you are you know recording the data in which condition so I can take uh, I don't know the the, the, the example uh, we, we face during the audio sense classification because for the audio sense classification so I mean uh, the small demo you were uh, playing with before. So we had to record uh, hours and hours of uh, indoors, outdoors, and in the car uh, stuff. Um, and um, okay, and at the beginning things were working well because uh, the, the room was uh, you know, a medium room, but then we had to try in a bigger room, then we have to try in some, some specific room. So that means we, we had to capture a lot of data and to remember in which, kind of which condition we were in order to in case of bad training to come back and maybe modify and change all of this. So it was important. So capturing is, seems or, or is, is quite simple, but it is a basic. Because if, if you are recording bad, I would say capturing bad information or uh, not proper information because you are subcontracting it and the guy is not really taking care about this or you are reckoning a motor and uh, normally the motor is like that, but I don't know uh, because uh, someone cleaned the room and changed the motor and the motor is not exactly in the same position, then you will get maybe trouble. This is the first thing. Then there is also you are capturing the data using sensors. Okay, but then in the final application, you will maybe use other sensors. So maybe they will have also discrepancies. You have to think about this. And this is important. I mean, maybe to use uh, the sensor, the same data, uh, the same sensor for the capture and for the for the final application or maybe not to have uh, you know to to to, to stay global uh, in this way so these are things things you have to think about because maybe you will record using a no normal microphone you know and in final application you will use a mem sensor which have different resonance so really it's something you have to think about it's not only recording the data is how i'm recording the data and uh, okay the next step is to clean the data so to be sure that you are not recording stuff you don't want you know, to record in, in, in this case or adding a noise or adding you know, un unuseful uh, noise, then you have to, in the case of, um, um, I would say, um, uh, specific learning, you have to label the data and then prepare and think about the uh, neural network topology. And uh, the third step is then you have to train the NN model using, you know, as we see a TensorFlow using a big stuff. So for this part, for this area, there is no ST tools in this case. We'll show you because it's, there are plenty of tools uh, on the web. I mean, uh, in this case, our big partners, a big name uh, are creating their own uh, tools in this case. So this is something you can use. The point number four is then to convert it. So once you have a train network, so that means a neural network, then you will convert it in a C code in order to be able to, you know, to use it on the microcontroller. Uh, the fifth step is to process and analyze. I mean, see if you have any discrepancy between the theoretical model and the real model, because don't forget that you are converting in this case. So that means could be that the result is not uh, completely 100% the result of the theoretical model. This is first of things. And then here, converting, you will maybe uh, also want to, to compress because there are also optional to compress the model in order to fit in uh, less memory. And then you will have to check, I mean, if you are still in line. So this is also an important step. And the final one is, of course, to check if you reach what you plan to reach, which was also final zero zero. So these are the five identified steps we had, you know, implementing or trying to implement a neural network into a microcontroller application. Let's go a little bit more, 
I will say deep, deeper and what ST, ST is proposing as a tools, okay? So we have some tools and this is one of the tools you have on the table is, okay, the tools we are proposing in, the, uh, in order to, I will say, to, to, to be initiated or to start to work or to start to develop. It's maybe not the tools you will use at the end, you will maybe develop your own tools, you will maybe use tools from our partners. So again, if you are interested in tools, ask the partners because they have also developed their own tools and they will maybe uh, help you uh, with, with these tools. So ask them, please, in, in this case. But okay, to capture the data, we have tools and this is using the mobile phone in order to clean, label, and uh, okay, and at this step, you will have to think about the NN topology. So we are not helping you uh, for the uh, NN topology, but you have to think about the NN topology, neural network topology. Uh, for the step in the middle, as I say, there is no ST tools because you will have to go in the you know, Python to learn Python in this case and use tools which are existing on the web. Um, for the fourth and fifth step, so for the first step, it's a Cube AI. So the fi finally, the Cube AI we are proposing is there. And this Cube AI, which is part of the Cube MX, this uh, option from the Cube MX is there to convert, again, like it is, to convert uh, the code or the, the neural structure, the neural network structure with the white and the, with the structure into a C code, or we say a meta, meta code, let's say like this, we'll present it. Okay, so that means for you a C code and also helping you to verify uh, if uh, the, the, the code which were transferred, I would say, or converted uh, um, is, uh, you know, from the reliability at the same level as uh, the, the example, for instance on a theoretical form and also on a practical form. So on the target, directly on the target, you will be able, using these tools, to check on the target if you have discrepancy between the theory and the practical model. And I think it's quite important for you because at the end you have to have a working model, yeah, close to the theoretical. Okay, and finally, to process and analyze, so this is the board we have. So let's present the different board we have. So we have a very small board which are called sensor tiles, so including SD cards. So you will have the possibility to put some SD card to record a lot of things. It's the one we use, for instance, for the audio sense classification. Because it was small, we put it everywhere. And a lot of ST people were wearing it and then, you know, uh, recording a lot of, of, of stuff. It is nice. The only uh, missing point, I mean, for us today on the workshop is there is no uh, ST link. So you had normally to add an extra component. It's the one, the reason why we did not select this port. But this port is existing. Then we have the next generation of this port, so including IoT. So this is a sensor tile dot box. And this is also water resistant and including uh, uh, Microsoft Azure access and, and so on. So much more IoT stuff. Uh, but again, with SD card, so you have the possibility to record a lot of data. And uh, finally, this port, this is the one we have, which is quite good for IoT, which is quite good because you have the ST-Link on board, so that means you can program, you can, you know. The only drawback for artificial intelligence or what we are doing today is we only have a quad SPI with one megabyte. So it's not so much. And for audio recording, for, ins for instance, it's roughly one minute of record. So it's not the best board for this kind of stuff. But okay, it just, again, board to play with, to, to understand the principle, this is what we are, we'll do today. Uh, then if you really want to record a lot of stuff, either use a partner's board or uh, use a board with uh, embedded SD card on it. Okay. This slide is now uh, you know, combination of sensor and STM32. So as I mentioned this morning, uh, ST also pro are also providing smart sensors, what we call smart sensors, or MEM sensor, with some machine learning core embedded on it. So in this case, what you can do, so with some decision tree and machine learning with different stage, so that means you have algorithm you can learn, uh, you have a certain amount of, of memory, so you can do some of, of the stuff, and which could be good in this case as a pre-processing. So you can, I don't know, you have an accelerometer and uh, you want to detect if something is falling down in order to switch off the system or to protect the system or save everything. So maybe you can use this one because it, in this case it's good enough in order to, you know, to detect if something is falling down. But if you want to have m something more complicated and the good thing is, okay, conception and so on because everything is in, in implemented so you will have a less conception, it will be due, you know, on the fly. So this is something we are proposing. 
But then if you are combining it to a STM32 in this case, then you are adding the deep learning or neural network in this case uh, staff. Okay, and you can combine both. You can first detect if something is falling down, then switch on the STM32, and then ax you know um, start uh, the, the neural network uh, stuff, and then define if it's really falling down or what is happening, on which condition, what exac exactly happening. So you can combine both. Uh, collecting the data and architecting uh, an end topology. So that means is where we have, in this case, you know, uh, selected partners. Of course, they can help with more because I have experience about or a little bit before or after. So it's depending on the partners we have. So we have a dedicated website uh, for AI, for STM32. And uh, inside the website, you have a selected partner in this case. Means that we, ha we were in communication with the partners and they're working. They have knowledge about ST in this case and then know, uh, okay, what they're talking about. And to clean the label and the topology, we have the uh, Bluetooth uh, sensor mobile phone application you already have installed and play with. And uh, this, um, the code are uh, open in this case. So they can, you can find the code on the website and then you can modify, you know, slightly. It's giving for you as example, you know, a start example in order to define or to, to develop your own application. For the training neural network model, so this is, is somewhere in the middle. So we mentioned already uh, TensorFlow and Keras. So we are also uh, compatible with TensorFlow Lite microcontroller. So TensorFlow, which is dedicated for microcontrollers, so generated structure, neural structure, which are, um, I would say, which fit more with microcontrollers and microprocessors in the past. So we are compatible and there are lasagne and cafe. Uh, TensorFlow and Keras, this is more the Google in this case, and, and the rest is, uh, you know, the big name, in which are uh, unknown in this case. And the conversion tools I already mentioned and then to analyze for the deep learning. This is a QBI roadmap because what we are proposing in this case, as I say, from the STM32, maybe I did not mention it uh, to, to everybody, what we need for the QBI is at least a Cortex-M4. So Cortex-M4 or Cortex-M7, because we have integrated floating-point unit inside, and these are the reason. Uh, of course, we have partners. We already have algorithms which are running also on M0 and M3, because it's also possible. You know, it's, it's just a, a question of um, uh, inference time, so that means uh, um, uh, accuracy and speed uh, of, of the stuff. But if you are happy and, and if you, you have a simple structure, you can also do it in a small microcontroller. But for the QBI, QBI at the moment is only supporting Cortex-M4 and Cortex-M7. Supporting floating point support since uh, beginning of 2019. Uh, supporting, of course, the, the new board and also the quantization uh, TensorFlow for microcontroller, which is also called TensorFlow Lite, so we are already supporting it. Um, I think it's supported since uh, the version, it's not the version you have, but the next version. Because for this workshop, we, froze, uh, we have frozen uh, a version just to be sure that everything is running well and, and so on. But if you are taking the next uh, version, so it's supporting this one, which is already available, the current one, yes. Yeah. And uh, we are additionally uh, layer, so we are supporting always more and more layer. Okay, and the next step is in 2020 is to support the ONNX uh, structure. What is ONNX? It's everything except Google. So Google is generating a specific format in this case, and all other, uh, I would say, uh, companies are also generating in the ONNX uh, unify uh, um, uh, format for this kind of stuff. And we will support it in 2020 because it will be defined, finally defined in 2000, uh, or finalized, I would say, in 2020. It's the only reason. Okay, these are the roadmap for the AI, QBI. And again, what I explain is not only it, it, it's a toolbox what we are proposing. So that means you have uh, some tools, software tools, hardware tools in this case. You have a community, and for all uh, uh, the function pack, and we, will, we are using one function pack today, so this is an audio uh, slang classification, or this is a sensor pack, let's say. Uh, we are uh, providing the audio and the motion example. So almost everything is inside the package you have. So the goal is, if you want to start from scratch, you can you know, reuse the package, and then step by step, over the five steps, redo it by yourself. This is our goal. 
in order to, 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 to get a little bit confident and then to develop your own neural network. So you are providing everything in source code in this case. And you have dedicated community. This is the package, the FP package, uh, so AI sensing package we are providing. So inside this package, downloaded package, you will find documentation and all the material you need in order to develop from scratch the neural network. Okay, this is a pack scope. So it's uh, educational, so it's for you to learn from it. It's a simple based development board and this is something you can do at you know, at home in this case. And it's including power optimization because if you are using microcontroller, it's maybe because of the price, but it's also because of the, you know, uh, optimized uh, ultra low power capability. I mean, for neural network, it's quite important. These are the uh, sensing. The only, I would say, uh, library which is uh, uh, in a binary and uh, not open is the AI NN library from ST in this case. Why? Because, okay, you can imagine that it's a Cortex M4, M7, so you have a lot of on the market and we don't want to have, uh, um, you know, other people, I mean, using it. But this is the only thing which is, uh, I would say, in binary. But normally, we should not have to, you know, we just have to use it in this case, and we'll explain how. The rest is open, and this is all what the package is, uh, you know, offering to you. So uh, firmware, uh, on the air, and so on. So we are starting with the hardware, supporting different board. This is uh, uh, including the board you are using. And then uh, we have the whole hardware extraction layer, like we have in all STM32 in this case. In the middleware, we are proposing some pre-processing stuff. For the audio, we are pro uh, proposing the audio pre-processing uh, pre log mail. And uh, for the uh, accelerometer, the gravity and reduced stuff. So we have some algorithm dedicated to what we are using in order to pre-filter or to pre-process the data. And then you have the standard package. Again, this is the example you have. So and this is the example we are using. So there are different paths. The first path is um, in order to record new because in your case, you will have uh, everything open. So you have all the package, you have all the recorded information, and maybe uh, your idea will be to optimize it. If you want to optimize it, you can. I mean, no problem, because everything is open. You will just have to use the uh, embedded uh, you know, audio board you have, uh, record it using the apps, save it on the SD card or somewhere I mean, uh, else, and then you will have to relearn the system. So you have this pass. And the second pass is what we have done uh, this morning, is the application itself. So this is using the application. So you are inside, outside, or in the car, and it will be detected automatically. This is for the audio sync classification. With the same sensor and the same board and the same application, we also have a ha human activity recognition based on accelerometer. So and what are we doing? It's a five class uh, package in this case. So what we are detecting if you are doing nothing, so standing, if you are uh, walking, uh, running, or bicycling, or in the car. Just using the same. And you can have both running at the same time. With the new package, uh, you can have the board, and you can detect both at the same time. If you are in the car, so we will detect in the car and in the running car, in this case. Okay, so just to finish, the Cube AI, okay, this is the tools, and again, it's doing 5% of the job, <laughs> the final job, because the big part of the job from, from the five steps are before, the first, the second, and the third step. These are the big part of the job for this. But nevertheless, so with the pr program and all the staff, so we are normally proposing something ecosystem in order to develop you know, properly a neural network on STM32.